Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. It's Friday, and I don't do a ton of Friday videos, uh, but heading out to the ranch here in a bit. Looking forward to the World Series starting tonight. I'm actually rooting for the Phillies because as a Rangers fan, I can in, not in good conscience want the Astros to win anything. But I uh, am looking forward to that. I think it should be a good series. I think the Astros have the edge, but the Phillies have been playing great all postseason, so who knows? But uh, this is a video that was purely impromptu, saw something, wanted to talk about it. Uh, first, let me show a card because, you know, this is a card show. I got a, uh, I did have a success with a private signing, believe it or not. Uh, I did Roberto Alomar on a custom. I think Jake's already shown his on like Instagram and stuff, but yet another Perez Steel custom postcard in the collection and, and glad to have it. Uh, and I bought a card last night that, I, that it's going to go through the eBay authenticity rigmarole. And uh, that'll be my first time to have a card go through that. Let's see how that goes. Uh, I think it's pretty dumb, actually, but whatever. Okay. Um... What I want to talk about, Mike Trout did a video with uh, PSA, actually, and it's really good. I'm going to put a link down below as soon as you get done watching this. If you haven't seen it, go see it. And I'm sure a lot of people have seen it because it just came up in my recommended feed, you know, like and probably a lot of you that are card collectors probably have that happen to you. And if you've seen it, it's just cool. And if you haven't, you should. It really made me like Mike Trout even more. As much as I respect him as a player, I, I think he's already a Hall of Famer. Doesn't have to do anything else. We'll continue to do things. We'll probably not be the same Mike Trout as every player has declined. But just absolutely so cool to see him get in the hobby. And the, the issue is that he's got in like in April of this year, I think, from everything he said. In the video I'm going to put down below, he's got two on there. One up, this one is where he's showing off his favorite cards of himself. Like, <laughs> it's just so cool. Uh, and he was talking about signing his rookie card, the 2011 Tops Update. And he's like, I put some cool inscriptions on there. He's like, what's great is I can put all the, I'm going to really like jazz it up on inscriptions because I can, because it's my card. Um, he talked about how he did a trade with a kid that pulled a one of one from definitive. I think it was with a Nike, Nike swoosh and he signed it and put uh, let's do it or something like that for Nike. I mean that a guy like that, and there are so many athletes getting into the hobby. And I think it's a lot of it's done on the, you know, non-public side. They just, they're just doing it privately. Uh, I know that this week um, <clears throat> a certain Royals, uh, rookie was at Panini, Bobby Witt Jr., was at Panini shooting some stuff for Panini. And so I, I think more and more, as we see this Fanatics thing start to really develop, the link between the Players Association and uh, the card manufacturers or Fanatics, not, there's not, it's not plural anymore, <laughs> Fanatics, is going to be interesting to see if that gets more players active in the card market. I think it will. I think that's a natural progression of that. It makes total sense. They have skin in the game, the players, uh, to promote cards, to be a part of a hobby. Now, how active will they be? Who knows? Uh, but it, it's, it's pretty neat to see. And to see a player like Mike Trout start to get into cards is really, really cool. And he talked about... Also, one of the huge things that I thought was really neat that made me like it was involving his son in it. And, <clears throat> you know, that connection between fathers and sons through cardboard is actually a pretty common theme in the hobby and super important. So seeing that all play, I mean, I just made me really like and respect Mike Trout even more. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think down below. We'll catch you guys soon. Keep collecting.